An appraisal site is normally between 3,500 square metres and 4,000 square metres in size, depending on the access arrangements and topography of the land. Having gained planning consent from the local authority, we would begin the process of constructing the site. Firstly, we look at the existing access arrangements and tracks to the site and construct or upgrade these arrangements in line with our planning consent. We then begin soil stripping the site in accordance with our planning design and create a flat site that is suitable for the drilling rig to work on. Soil stripped from the surface will be stored in a compacted bund on the site, which ensures that the topsoil is appropriately located for the restoration phase and to aid visual and noise mitigation. A well cellar is constructed on the site with a concrete pad to support the rig. Geotextile membrane is positioned over the area of stripped soil and type 1 material is laid and compacted over the site to a depth of approximately 300 mm to allow and facilitate the support of the drilling rig and associated vehicles. Generally this process would be spread over a two week period to ensure minimal impact on the surrounding road network. First to arrive on site are crew changing rooms, mess facilities and office cabins. These are followed by the drilling rig. This is a truck mounted drilling unit so arrives to site on a truck and a trailer. The rig jacks up on legs and then the mast is set up followed by other rig components arriving on low loaders. Once this initial setup of the rig is complete, other equipment can begin to be brought onto site. We bring in the various pieces of mud pump equipment. Mud is just a drilling expression for any fluid that is being used both to lift cuttings from the hole and also lubricate and cool the drill bit as it does its job drilling. The other pieces we would bring in that you would expect to see on a site are tanks containing water and other various cabins containing spares, drilling and generation equipment. All sites are designed to hold a small parking area, ensuring that there will be no parking of vehicles in the surrounding areas and road network. There is also a muster point and designated health and safety areas on the site. Once the rig mobilisation and site setup is complete, the appraisal drilling can begin, which typically would last between 35 and 40 days, working a continuous 24-hour drilling programme. The custom-built rigs we have are designed not only to be technically competent at drilling, but also designed to allow us to work close to communities in an onshore landscape where operations like ours are sensitive. They also have a small location footprint, on average less than 40% to that of a comparable conventional onshore rig. They have less of a visual impact on the environment, with 50% lower mast heights to that of conventional onshore rigs. We appraise the coals by coring. Almost like coring an apple, you will drill down through the sequences of coal using a device on the end of the drill string, which allows you to core the coal. This core is then retrieved to surface and at surface we use independent geoscientists who take the core samples, place them into canisters and observe the gas produced from the coal. They also look at the characteristics of the coal. Following completion of the coring, the well is abandoned in line with the Department of Energy and Climate Change, Borehole Regulations, Coal Authority and HSE standards and in accordance with good industry practice. We then continue with demobilising the site, leaving it ready to be restored when the weather conditions are suitable. We typically leave ourselves something like a year in our planning consents to allow us the time for drilling, but then also sufficient time against the weather conditions to restore a site back to its former use.